So what is the best kind of content for breweries to be posting on Instagram? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you the four best types of content that you can post to help get the word out about new releases, promoting reservations, and just growing your overall following. And if we haven't met yet, I'm Gannon. I'm a partner at Run With It, a marketing team dedicated to changing the way that restaurants, bars, and breweries are marketing on social media. So if you're into that kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all of our best tips and tricks on how you can grow your business on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all types of social media. And just a reminder, you can hop down into the description on this video to connect with our team and get some of our free resources as to what we are doing for our clients to grow their Instagram page. One of the questions we get asked all the time is what types of content should I be posting on social media to grow my brewery? And we all know that consistency is key on social media, but you might get to a point where you're running out of ideas on what to post next. Certain content performs better than other content, whether it's video or photos being compared to, you know, quotes or memes, anything like that. But what type of content can you post that will considerably outperform the other content that you've posted in the past? Luckily for you, our team has actually posted thousands of different types of content for breweries in the past. And we have found that these four types of content have outperformed other types considerably. Kicking it off with tip number one is to have a staff spotlight post. So what you want to do is just snap a picture of a staff member if they're willing to do it. Come up with a list of questions like what is your favorite beer, what would you name a beer if you could name it, and just have them talk about their experience working at your brewery. We've tried this for many breweries and have seen an incredible response from customers online, whether that's them commenting on the post, liking it, sending it to their friends. And there's something about pictures of people on Instagram that get other people scrolling to stop in their tracks and acknowledge your content. Try this out for a future post and compare it to how other posts have been doing on your timeline and see how your customers are responding to it. I guarantee you'll see better results with this type of content. Tip number two is to get pictures of both your labels and your beer. So it might seem obvious to take pictures of your beer, but what a lot of places actually do is focus on the label and put the label on a mock-up and hope that people will get a better understanding of what's inside the can. As a beer drinker, you might judge a book by its cover and buy a beer just based on what the can is telling you is inside of it, but we've actually seen that taking pictures of the beer in a glass next to the can has performed better than just a picture of the can itself. So try taking pictures like this and come back and compare it to just pictures or mock-ups of your labels and see how better this type of content is performing. Tip number three, and I know not every single brewery will actually have a tasting room, but once in a while you want to switch up your content from posting pictures of beer to posting the actual environment that the people will come in and drink your beer at. And if you don't have a tasting room, encourage your customers to go out and buy your beer and snap some pictures of them drinking it at a restaurant or some other location where they're allowed to drink. So try snapping some pictures like this and do it every once in a while. You don't have to go too crazy with this, but switching it up to posting a picture of your tasting room or your tap room maybe once or twice a week will definitely get more people looking at your page and seeing exactly what type of business that you are. The fourth and final tip is to give your customers a behind the scenes look of your brewery. So whether that's videos of your canning run, pictures of your staff making the beer, meetings with your team, anything like that, just to give your customers a behind the scenes look as to what exactly is going on at your business and making it seem like it's not just a robot behind the screen. Some of the breweries that we've been working with even have their own Instagram accounts dedicated to their team members. Um, if you don't wanna go too crazy with that, just think of posts that will educate your audience about what's going on behind the scenes how you're actually making the beer and what goes into crafting the beer that they're going to end up enjoying. This type of content can be fun because you can make some cool b-roll videos with canning videos. Um, you can get videos of your staff having some fun messing around with the tanks and it's just a switch up of the content that you normally post and kind of making things pop on the timeline 
um, giving customers a different taste of what you're capable of producing and just having fun content all around. So that does it for our top content tips for breweries. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a thumbs up. Again, we've got a ton of free resources down below in the description to help you grow your brewery on Instagram. And that's including a free PDF guide showing you exactly how we take our client photos and post them and edit them on Instagram. Every single week we'll be releasing new tips and tricks as to how you can grow your restaurant, bar, or brewery on social media. So if you want to stick around for that, hit the subscribe button below. Connect with our team on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever it is, and we will catch you in the next video.